Hi guys, welcome to the Arctic Resonance Commission. Now we are discussing about uh, some of the problems regarding to the Argyll diagrams. Okay, now those problems which are given in the previous CSR as well as GATE. Okay, now uh, I have selected some of the problems regarding to the like uh, Argyll diagrams. Okay, one by one I solve the a very clear manner. Okay, so the first one is the electronic spectrum of CRF6 minus 3 shows three bands at a 14,900 centimeter inverse, 22,400 centimeter inverse. 34,800 centimeter inverse the value of delta O so uh, in this case okay the value of delta O in this case okay they are given in the like a uh, uh, three transitions those three transition values also they are given so uh, based on that uh, find the delta O that means crystal field splitting energy value okay such type of problems are all like this now the solution of the first problem is they are given in the CRF6 minus 3. CRF6 minus 3. If uh, they are given in the transition, that means it is regarding to the Argyll diagrams. So, Argyll diagrams hint for the configurations. I'll give the a simple hint D1, D9, D2, D8, D3, D7, D4, D6. Okay, these are the configurations. Okay, now here the terms of uh, these are like a 2D, 3F, 3P. 4F, 4P, 5D. Okay. So now here the similar opposite, similar opposite, like a similar opposite, similar opposite. Okay. These are the like a like a, uh, spect a spectral splitting, D term and F term splitting. Okay. Now here chromium F6, 3 minus, that means chromium plus 3. If the configuration is uh, uh, D3. Okay, 4s1, uh, 3d5, that means uh, 3 electrons are lost. Now, the configuration is uh, d3. So, d3 is a similar terms. So, the d3 is similar to the octahedral of f term. Similar to the octahedral of f term. That means uh, f term is nothing but like this. Okay, this is the f term splitting. So, whenever we we'll go through the diagram, so this is the f term splitting. Okay, now here, so here it is a uh, t1z, similar means a uh, P state somewhere represent over there. Okay, here there is no cross crossover point. T one Z, T two Z, A two Z. Okay, so I, I'll give the simple hint for the uh, these diagrams either spin crossover or not crossover. Okay, so in case of similar diagrams, both T one Z's are adjacent. So in case of crossover point, uh, that is reverse. The, so A two G uh, replaced over here. Okay, so it is a very easier trick. So both T one Gs are very closer. Then that means it is uh, similar to the octahedral splitting. Similar to the octahedral splitting. Okay, now we'll go through the the form, uh, values of uh, these uh, crystal field values. Now here it is plus six dq. Here minus two dq. Here minus twelve dq. Okay, so these are the term, uh, these are the values of a crystal field splitting one. Okay, now here plus 6 dq, minus 2 dq, minus 12 dq, minus 12 dq. Okay, so they are given in the three transition. That means here to here one transition, here to here one transition, here to here one transition. Now here, these are the three transitions. So, so this is the new one, new two, new three. So they are given in the new one is equal to 14,900. New two is equal to 22,400. So new three is equal to... 34,800 centimeter inverse. 34,800 centimeter inverse. Now, if uh, let us take the one of the one of the transition with the help of the transition, we will find the like a CFSC value. CFSC value. So now here, here to here, that means energy level minus two dq to minus of minus twelve dq. So that means uh, four uh, like a four a two g to four t two g. Four a two g to four t two g. So that, that is uh, belongs to the 14,900 centimeter inverse. That is the first transition. So which is equal to the 14,900 centimeter inverse. So here that means 2 dq plus 12 dq. Here it is equal to 14,900 centimeter inverse. Okay. Now here minus 2 plus 2 for 12. That means 10 dq which is equal to the 14,900 centimeter inverse. Here the 10 dq is nothing but delta O, 14,900 centimeter inverse. Very easy, okay? So now uh, delta O is equal to 14,900 centimeter inverse. They are asking about delta O value. So the option number B is correct. Option number B is correct. Generally, so F terms which is uh, uh, belongs to the similar to the octahedral splitting, F term similar to the oct octahedral splitting, the first transition is nothing but our delta O value, okay? It is easy. Uh, easy 
easy trick. The first transition, which is uh, our delta O value. So in case of uh, like uh, opposite terms, the values are changed. The values are changed. After this, uh, after solving the one, one more problem, I will explain those opposite terms. Okay. Now here, the first question answer is B. So here, this question is given in two th December 2011. Again, they are given in the December 2015. Same question. Okay. So the question is, the electronic transitions at uh, 14,900 centimeter inverse, 22,700 centimeter inverse, and 34,400 centimeter inverse. The, the values are varied like a very small range, like 22,400, 22,700. Okay. So are observed in the absorption spectrum of uh, same complex, CRF6 minus 3. CRF6 minus 3. The delta O value and the corresponding electronic transitions are. So we will already find the delta O value. So the delta O value is equal to 14,900. So those two are wrong. Okay, now either, either our option is B or C. Okay, so the corresponding transition means the first transition is nothing, nothing but a delta O value. So the first transition similar to that handle that means T1Z, T2Z, A2Z. 4 A2Z to 4 T2Z is the our transition. Now here 4 A2Z to 4 T2Z it is our option. Now here 4 T2Z to 4 T1Z. So here 4 T2Z to 4 T1Z it is a uh, very very like uh, 6 to uh, minus of minus uh, 8 dq so our uh, they are asking about a 10 dq that means delta o so it is not our option okay so now our option is b okay so uh, a simple a simple uh, explanation about these two terms these two terms they are given in the similar questions uh, here here it is they are given in the same question in two times for four marker 2011 december 2015 december okay uh, some of the cases if they are given in the like opposite to the f term uh, what will happen so they how, how they are find the delta o value now we'll go through the uh, opposite to the octahedral delta o value opposite to the octahedral delta o value let us take the opposite that means d7 configuration or d3 in tetrahedral manner whatever it may be d7 or d3 in tetrahedral d7 in octahedral okay now here uh, the electronic transition that means uh, like this Okay, here the crossover point. Here the crossover point. That means here T1Z, T2Z, T1Z, T1Z P term, A2Z. Okay. Now here, here that means uh, like a, a 6 dq minus a 6 dq. Here plus 2 dq, like a minus a 12 dq. Okay, plus 2 dq minus a 12 dq. Sorry, here minus 2 dq. Oh, both are plus both are plus now here it is only minus why because it is uh, above the barrier center that's why both are plus okay now the first transition that means uh, it may be occurs between the t1g to t2g okay so based on the uh, spin multiplicity here if it is 4 here if it is uh, 4 that means here 4 t1g to 4 t2g 4 t1g to 4 t2g now here the 4 t1g to t2g that means uh, it is the sum of the value that is the x value now let us take the sum value, uh, maybe it may be 7800 or 9500, 9500. Let us take the uh, just a, a simple value, doesn't uh, exact value, okay. Now here, so the electronic transition plus 2dq minus of minus 6dq is equal to 9500. That means it is some x value, doesn't uh, 9500. Here 2dq minus of minus plus 6dq is equal to x. That means here 8dq is equal to x. Uh, so 10 dq means uh, here 1 dq is equal to x by 8, x by 8. Now the 10 dq means 10 dq is equal to x by 8 into 10. So here it is multiplied with uh, 10 by both the sides. So that means 10 dq means delta O. Delta O is equal to, they are given in the like a transition. Let us assume some of the transition wavelength. x into 10 by 8 is our delta O value for Opposite to the octahedral splitting value. Opposite to the octahedral splitting value. Okay, now let us go through the problem number two. Problem number two. So this is very easy at trick. Okay, now the problem number two is the number of spin allowed ligand transitions uh, for octahedral nickel two complexes with three A2G ground sum. So how many number of possible transitions are possible? So here nickel two means a D8 configuration. Nickel two means a D8 configuration. So we know that D8 means a, a similar to the octahedral F term. Okay, similar to the octahedral F term. That means here F term similar to the two are below. One is above. T1Z here T1Z T2Z A2Z. So it is a term three F. 
on the three three that means the spin multiplicities are three okay now here three a two g two three t two g one transition three a two g two three t one g one transition three a two g two three t one g p term is another transition so here how many transitions are possible with three a two g term so they are given in three a two g term ground state is three a two g now here one two three three possible transitions the option number b is correct option number b is correct now the third question is so the mulligan symbols for the free term ir it is very easier now we have discussed the uh, previous cases so the mulligan symbols uh, for free ir that means t1z t2z a2z so the first option is t2z e it is not uh, not our uh, f term so t1z t2z but t1u it is also wrong so here t1z t2z a2z it is our option then now the final one is a1z t2z t1z it is also wrong so here the t1z t2z a2z of the free ion term symbol so here it is given in the june 2012 june 2012 now we solve the other problem so which is nothing but a get 2018 problem the spectroscopic ground term symbol of cobalt ions in cobalt h2o6 times plus 2 and cobalt cl4 minus 2 respectively so one is octahedral term another one is a tetrahedral term so the first of all cobalt h2o6 times uh, plus 2 that means a uh, d7 configuration okay so the d7 configuration which is nothing but uh, the term is a uh, d7 the term is 4f the term is 4f d7 which is quite uh, the opposite to the octahedral structure now we will get the like this type of diagram so okay crossover point that means here t1z t2z a2g like yeah, all of the four now here the t1z term uh, belongs to the p okay now here it was it possible for the three, three transitions so the ground term symbol of uh, cobalt plus 2 is 4 t1g ground term symbol of uh, cobalt plus 2 is 4 t1g 4 t1g that's why all are eliminated all are eliminated only one option is there okay let us check uh, the uh, cobalt cl4 minus 2 tetrahedral structure cobalt cl4 minus 2 tetrahedral structure so if cobalt cl4 minus 2 that means here also cobalt plus 2 that means t d7 configuration so in case of octahedral d7 is opposite to the octahedral okay now in case of tetrahedral it is quite opposite to the octahedral that means opposite to uh, opposite uh, quite opposite is uh, similar okay now we will get the similar to the octahedral structure similar to the octahedral structure now that means uh, here t1z t2z a2z t1z t2z a2 here z uh, not the z that means here it is uh, uh, like a tetrahedral term so options of z and now here t1 p term so t1 p term t1 p term so all uh, sorry t1 f term f term okay so all are uh, spin multiplicity with four spin multiplicity with uh, four here four p4 okay now the ground term symbol for tetrahedral is four a2 so this is two marker question from uh, get 2018 okay option number b either two marker or one marker and, uh, i don't know uh, particularly okay it is get 2018 recent question now i'll go through the another problem okay i'll go through the another problem so the, now the problem number is uh, six in our lecture so the ground term symbol of nickel h2o6 times plus 2 uh, either 3t1z 3t2z 3a2z the 4t1z so we solved those type of problems uh, several times so nickel h2o plus nickel h2o6 times plus 2 that means a d8 configuration so if d8 means it is a similar to the octahedral so our term is f so f term similar means whole inversion uh, whole inversion takes place that's why here similar to the octahedral now here it is the structure t1z t2z a to g okay now the term multiplicity is a three so it is a t1 z term of p with multiplicity three so now the ground term symbol is a four a three a to g three a to g option number c is correct option number c is correct now uh, we solve the another problem this is the problem number seven now here so in the electronic spectrum of a cr f6 minus 3 again they are given in the chromium f6 minus 3 complex absorption bands absorbs uh, okay now here they are given in the like uh, uh, 670 440 290 nanometers they are given in the nanometers in units okay so or respectively due to the transition okay they are given in the nanometers means high nanometers lesser the value lesser the nanometers higher the like wave number higher the wave number so now here they are given in the uh, f uh, three possible type of uh, transitions so uh, please uh, attach to the those transitions with uh, their values with their values uh, regarding their values now here so chromium f6 minus 3 that means d3 configuration that means d3 configuration in case of d3 configurations uh, here the term uh, the term is 4f the term is 4f the first excited state is 4p now here d3 means similar to the octahedral structure similar to the octahedral structure 
that's why here t1 z t2 z a to z c t1 z t2 z a to z here the term is a t1 z regarding to the p okay now here 4 p like a 4 p here the multiplicities are 4 4 4 now here the first transition second transition three uh, third transition so the first transition value is 690 second transition value is 440 third transition value 290 so here 4 a to g to 40 to g 4 a to g to 41 z 4 a to g to 41 z p term now let us go through the options here 4 a to g to 41 z so the first transition not our option okay that's why it is wrong now the second one 4 a to g to 41 z 4 a to g to 41 z p term it is also wrong now here 4 a to g to 41 z uh, it is also wrong okay now here the 4 a to g to 40 to g the first transition 4 a to g to 41 z it is a it, it is belongs to the f term it is also a second transition and the final one is 4 a to g to 41 z p term so now our option is a 7 okay so this is very easier question i think this question was repeated in our lecture third time okay they are given in the like december 2011 december 2015 i think 11 or 13 okay now again they are given in the year 2016 now you solve the some of the other problems the problem which is given in the gate 2012 the ground states of a high spin octahedral and tetrahedral cobalt 2 complexes are respectively so uh, we saw the similar problem in previous examples like uh, i think uh, six or seven okay now the ground term symbol of high spin octahedral tetrahedral complexes of cobalt 2 uh, that means a uh, d7 configuration d7 in octahedral and tetrahedral so d7 means uh, the term is a uh, 4f okay so now if a 4f uh, in octahedral 4f in octahedral d7 is uh, opposite to octahedral now here it is uh, in case of tetrahedral it is a tetrahedral it is octahedral similar okay so in case of tetrahedral is similar octahedral is opposite that means uh, octahedral opposite means uh, we observe the spin crossover point t1z t2z a2z okay now here 4 4 4 okay now here in case of octahedral 4 t1z is ground term symbol in case of tetrahedral it is a similar that means uh, t1 t2 a2 here a2 is the ground term symbol a2 is the ground term symbol for tetrahedral that means uh, cobalt 2 d7 if uh, d7 octahedral is opposite to the f term splitting that means uh, tetrahedral it is similar to the f term so here similar a2 octahedral is at 4 t1z octahedral 4 t1z similar a to option number b is correct option number b is correct now we'll go through the problem number 9 and 10 both are both are similar problems uh, which is given in the gate uh, i think a uh, gate problem either 2010 or 2011 okay approximately they are given 2010 or 11 okay now here the, this is the june uh, this uh, june 2014 csi problem here electronic spectrum of uh, in its electronic spectrum of vanadium h2o six times plus three exhibits two absorption bands they are given in the uh, very clear cut manner two absorption bands one is a seven seventeen thousand eight hundred and another one is a twenty five thousand seven hundred and centimeter inwards the correct assignment of uh, these bands are okay they are given in the vanadium h2o six times plus three okay vanadium plus three means d2 configuration d2 means uh, opposite to octahedral that means f term d2 means opposite to the octahedral that is the f term so if opposite means two or above one is below two or above one is below uh, when compared to the barrier center okay now here we observed a, a spin crossover point we observed a spin crossover point now here it is t1z t2z a2z the term uh, the multiplicity is a three 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 here also three t1 z p term three t1 z p term so generally we observed uh, three types of transitions generally we observed three types of transitions but here three a to g whenever it crosses it cross over the three t1 z of p orbitals so three a to g requires a high energy both excitation of electrons both the both the excitation of electrons requires a high energy requires high energy due to the requirement of a high energy here the t1z to 3t2g uh, transition cannot be observed which which observed very low intensity which which appears like a, in the spectrum very low intensity when compared to others that's why it, it is not appeared it is right side it is not uh, appeared that's why so 3t1z to 3t2g transitions not observed so now we observed only two transition 3t1z to 3t2g f term 3t1g f term to 3t1g p term now let us go through the options here 3t1z to 
3 T2 G. So 3 T1 G to 3 T2 G. So the revealing options are or are not. Uh, so all are not correct. Why? Right? Because only one transition 3 T1 G to 3 T2 G. So let us check the another option. 3 T1 G F term to 3 T1 G. Uh, P term. So this is the correct option. Very easier question. So now I will explain all the things which are which is regarding to the D2 configuration when ADM plus 3 only uh, gives the two transitions which I discussed uh, over the Argyle diagrams of D2 configuration. Argyle diagrams of D2 configuration. Now here, so it observes only two bands. Those bands are 3 T1G to 3 T2G is first band. 3 T1G to 3 T1G of P term is second band. Okay. Now here only two absorption bands. Two absorption bands due to the requirement of high energy. Now the uh, question number 10 is very easier. So now I uh, don't solve the problem. Uh, whenever we see the question, it is uh, easily identifiable question. The spectroscopic ground term symbols on the total number of electronic transition of a titanium H2O 6 times plus 3 are 3 T1G and 2 transitions, 3 A2G and 3 transitions, like uh, 3 T1G and 3 transition, 3 A2G and 2 transitions. Okay. They are given in the like a uh, different complex. That means uh, uh, 3 uh, titanium H2O 6 times uh, plus 2 plus 3 that means here so, so titanium H2O 6 times uh, it is not plus 2 it is plus 2 just change it it is plus 2 okay now titanium H2O 6 times plus 2 that means it is a D2 configuration so here also D2 configuration here also D2 configuration now how many transitions we observe so this transition not observed due to the requirement of high energy only two transition now the ground time symbol of after handle splitting is 3 T1G Okay, 3 T1G and 2 is correct option. 3 T1G and 2 is correct option. Whenever we will get the D2 configuration, here only two transitions are possible due to the requirement of high energy. Okay, whenever so the strong field ligands are uh, approaches to the central metal atom, so this energy will and will pronounce it more and more. That's why we cannot uh, absorb these transition in case of a strong field ligands also. Okay, so this is the like uh, explanation about uh, uh, 10 problems in Argyle diagrams. Okay, so if you like the videos. Uh, uh, please subscribe the channel and share your friends as well as uh, younger siblings. Okay, thank you for watching.